one. Welcome. My name is Joey O'Connor with the Grove Center for the Arts and Media. And with me today is Prentice Dupins, who is a creative funding grant recipient. Uh, we've got a really exciting interview with Prentice today because he has a phenomenal project we want to tell you about. And I'm really excited uh, with the story that he's going to share with you today. So with that said, Prentice, I want to welcome you. Thanks for taking the time to talk with me today. Thank you, Joey, for the opportunity. Well, tell us a little bit about your uh, self, your background. How did you get involved in film? Well, actually, my journey to film is sort of a little bit of a tortured path. Mm -hmm. I actually graduated from college with a degree in biological science. I'm an actual school teacher, actually retired. And uh, while in, in high school, I sort of tagged along with the drama department and, and sort of got interested in a couple of student projects. And the drama teacher actually asked me if I would help. And from that, I sort of, you know, got this desire to perform and to do storytelling. Went back, got my certification and became the drama teacher at the school and uh, pursued that. But then it sort of developed even more that I wanted to go into film in terms of storytelling. And so I had the opportunity to go to Hollywood and be a part of the Act One program uh, for Christian writers and it was in the summer program. And that, that really sort of sealed it for me, uh, that I knew that God had a calling on my life to be able to tell stories through this particular medium. And so after that, I retired uh, from teaching and went back to graduate school. Okay. I'm, I'm a graduate school candidate in, in digital filmmaking. Wonderful, that's, that's incredible. Well, you've got a, a project that you're working on and we're really excited to partner with you with The Grove. Uh, tell us about your film, the title, what, it, what it's all about. And uh, I'm just, I'm really thrilled. It's, it's, it's a great story. So I, I want everyone else to hear about it as well. Well, thank you, Joey. Um, my thesis project is entitled Last Stop. And it's the story of Benjamin Wilson. He is a, a, a veteran that has, that's suffering from PTSD. And he's sort of given up on life and, and decided to sort of go to his cemetery, his family cemetery, and pay his last respects uh, before he takes his life. And in the process of doing that, he finds himself transported back in time to 1860. And he has to sort of spend the night as a runaway slave. Uh, and, and he runs across a couple of individuals that sort of help him in his path to understand about life and that life is precious and there's great value in it. That's phenomenal. Now, tell me, tell me a little bit of the backstory. How did how did the idea for that story evolve in your mind? Well, actually, it's sort of story plus some of my own personal experience. When I was in college, I had a really difficult time, and um, I thought the solution at that time in college was to take my own life, and and I attempted to do that, but my roommate sort of saved me, and 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 kept me from fulfilling that desire that I had. But I always asked myself the question when I was going through that really troubled time, what would my relatives have said to me? What would my kinfolk have said to me? And I was also doing uh, here recently research in my ancestry and came across my great, great grandfather. And I sort of put the two things together and posed the question, what would he have said to me during that troubled time in my life? About, about life and why it's important and about how I could hang on and, and why I needed to hang on. Well, and that's what I find fascinating about your concept is that your protagonist, he has a desire to end his life because of the dire cir circumstances that he's in. But when that gets flipped and he goes back to uh, see what it is like when someone is pursuing him and possibly taking his life, um, it, it makes for some really interesting questions uh, that, I, that I'm sure you're going to address in the film. Well, now, tell me about what do you hope to see come as a result of Last Stop? What do you hope um, some of the outcomes might be? Well, one of the things I want to do with the film is be able to give a message of the value of life, especially to young people who may be going through something similar to what I went through or, to, or others are going through and that message of hope and that there is value in life and, and what that value is because there are those in the past that have poured into us for us to be here and then there are those in the future who are depending on us to be able to pour into them 
and hopefully they'll take away from that that message that life is precious it is important and that there are others who are depending on you both from the past and the future you know i've dealt with uh, many friends and family who've wrestled with the issues whether it's mental illness or um depression or suicidal thoughts or tendencies and what i love about the premise of your film is it it really focuses in on one the struggles that people go to and go through and, and what, what is part of the human struggle but also um, looks at what is the hope offered and the alternatives um, in terms of pursuing our life and just as as you're looking back at your ancestors and what might your ancestors say to you um, it's a really interesting dynamic to say gosh when we're going through a hard time what are our immediate family and friends, what's their perspective? What are they trying to help us see when we're struggling and we can't see it ourselves? I, I think there's just some really universal truths you're hitting at in your film, which is why I'm so excited to uh, help promote it and, and see you be successful with it. Well, thank you. I, I totally agree with, with that. And, and, and that's my goal and desire with the film through storytelling, because that's the medium that this generation really absorbs and learns and, and, and gets an understanding of of life from. Well, what what are some of the challenges that you're facing in the days ahead? As, as I've looked at your project, you've certainly put together a great crew, a great team to make this all come together. But what, what are some of the, the challenges you're facing just in the next few months and, um, and how we can help support you in that? Well, of course, one is always funding. And so I'm, I'm very grateful and thankful to be a recipient of the grant from the Grove and look forward to you know giving getting that particular part taken care of from those who who, who view the information about the project uh, the other thing is to make sure that we uh, we handle the situation with with authenticity that, that's my goal and desire to be able to uh, produce a product that that is genuine of 1860 but also tells a story that uh, that can both inspire and educate. So the funding and, and pretty much the plan for production is, is pretty much in place. And so we're just needing some assistance and help in the area of uh, funding. Great, great. And how many people are part of your, your team so far? What, what do you estimate your, your total production team looking like? We have at current um, five producers that are working uh, to pull things together. In addition to this, since this is a school thesis film, there are some students in the program that I'm using as well. And then we're pulling together regional and local uh, crew people. So we should end up somewhere around 2025. Great, great. Sounds like a great team. Well, now tell me, uh, let's get down to specifics. What's your total funding goal? We're looking to raise $24,000 for the project. And, and that all goes toward the production of the film and it's in its post-production uh, so that we can have this complete possibly by the end of 2016. Great. And where are you going to be uh, shooting your principal photography? Uh, principal photography will be shot in central Arkansas, specifically in Pulaski and Faulkner counties here. And um, there may be a couple of times we may do pickup shots outside of the central Arkansas area, but we'll be mostly filming here in central Arkansas. Great. Well, Prentice, I want to thank you for taking time to answer some of my questions and share your story about uh, Last Stop and your upcoming creation of this phenomenal story. It's going to be a great film. I can't wait to see it. And for those of you who are listening on uh, the Grove's website today or YouTube, wherever you're viewing this online, I want to highly encourage you to support Prentice's project right before you if you're on the Grove website you see a donation link if you would just hit that PayPal button and whatever level of support you can give whether it's ten dollars a hundred a thousand or even more um, this is going to be a great film that's going to ignite a very important conversation about our life our purpose uh, what happens with the choices that we have before us and so uh, support Prentice today with a donation also, if you would share this video uh, online, whether it's Facebook or Twitter, uh, Instagram, what, whatever um, you know, social media networks you're on, share The Last Stop with other people. It's a great opportunity to support 
what's going to be a phenomenal film. And so uh, I know Prentice would be grateful for your support as well as uh, what we're doing here at The Grove. So again, thank you, Prentice, for your time and uh, look forward to uh, what the great outcomes of this film would be. Thank you, sir. Okay, you have a great day. You too. Okay. All right, we're, we're done, but uh, we can keep chatting here. I'm just going to hit the record button.